Okay, we're on Kedusha Perak Gimel Mishnah He, fifth Mishnah, the third chapter of Kedusha. Until now, we've discussed a person who's Makadesh, a woman, on Tanai, make a condition, an explicit condition. So if, if the condition is fulfilled, then the Kedushin is Cha, the condition is effective. If it's not fulfilled, it's not effective. Our Mishnah talks about something else. What if a person has an assumption when he made a, when he made a marriage? I'm a Kadesh Ta'isha. The person marries a woman, Ve'amar, and he says, Kasavura Yiti Shi Kohenet. I thought she was a Kohenet, but she's not. She's a Livia. Her, father, her father's a Levi. Livia, Vare Kohenet. I thought she was a Livia, but she's not. She's a Kohenet. Anya, Vare Ashira. I thought she was poor and she's rich. Oh, can't stand rich women. Ashira, Vare Anya. I thought she was rich and she's poor. Hareza Mikudesh, and Mimle Shalohitatosh. That the wedding is a marriage is a marriage. And they should lohit ato. She didn't let lat ot means to mislead. She didn't mislead him. You thought she was you thought she was rich. Did she ever tell you she was rich? Did she mislead you in thinking she was rich? No. So since she didn't mislead you, that's kedushin. You have to give her a divorce and you owe her a ketubah. But haomer li isha. Person says to a woman, Hareya Mikudesh li Lachar She'et Gayer. A non Jew gives a woman a Putin and says, You are betrothed to me after I'm with Gayer, after I, after I convert. Oh, the Achar Shetit Gayri, or after you convert. She's the, she's Jewish and she's not. Or, he's an Eved. La Achar Shetit You are, I'm, my, my master is going to free me and then we're Mekudeshet. He's an Eved Kenani. He's not Jewish. Oh, La Achar Shetit or after you are free. She's a Shivcha. La Achar Shiamut Ba'alech. Her husband is alive. Maybe he's on his deathbed, so he's like, you know, she's an eligible, potentially eligible widow, so he wants to grab her. You know, maybe uh, she's rich. Or after your sister dies, i.e., he's married to his sister, so he wants to marry her after her sister dies. Doesn't sound so nice. Or she fell to a cholit, to, to Yibum, and so, but he's not going to marry her, he's going to do chalitza, so right out, he wants to grab her first. You are Mekudesh Adach Hashir Yachlot Tzachi Bamech. All of those things are in Amekudesh. The reason they're in Amekudesh is very simple. She's not eligible to be married right now. Before, if, she, if he's not Jewish or she's not Jewish, she's an Ebed, she's a Shivcha. If she's married or she's, she's Muhammad or she's ready, she's up for Yibum, then she, you can't have a wedding. It doesn't, it's not Chal. So the act that you do now has no effect. It's, it has no meaning whatsoever. A guy's wife is pregnant. A guy's wife is pregnant. So his friend says to, his, to, the, to the father, to the future father, if your wife gives birth to a daughter, oh, I'm sorry, they're not, she's not, she is pregnant, or they don't know. He says, if your wife gives a birth to a daughter, whenever your wife has a kid, if she has a daughter, I'm marrying her. Similarly, now this is the interesting part. Now here we go. If she is pregnant, and it's recognizable that she's pregnant, and then his words are kayamim, are established. And if he marries, and if she gives birth to a daughter, then there is a marriage, and she is mekudeshet. Now, this is a really interesting uh, halachic discussion. If she was pregnant, okay, let's look at the Bartender says the following. Katava Rambam, the Rambam writes, that he can't, it's not, you can't, he can't just uh, sleep with her, live with her, consummate the marriage until he marries her again. This is an important principle. Okay, the baby until it's born is what's called the davar shablo bala olam. It's something not in the world. It's, yeah, the baby is potential, but there's no baby in the world. The woman's pregnant. Okay? Therefore, this is, you can't, you can't acquire something that doesn't exist. So why did the mission say davar kayamim? Because it's a chumrah that she can't marry other people. That's what the Rambam, that's what the Bartunimah says. In the Pirish Amishnayot. Okay, but, um, let's see in the, let's see the Rambam, the language of the Rambam itself. I think she has to marry her again. Right? Because we have an Ikarim Biadenu, Ein Adam Magnet Davarsha Rechavela Shalom Ba'ala Olam. Okay, that you can't acquire something that doesn't exist. But, uh, the Kahati quotes the Mishnah, to, the Mishnah Torah. Let's take a look. Interesting, he says the following. This is the Rambam, Mishnah Torah, this is Perek Zayin, Alachet Et Zayin. If your wife has a baby girl, I'm marrying her now, it doesn't work. But, this is the second part. He writes the following, is married, and that's exactly what we saw 
Let me see where I can look. That's exactly what we saw here. Okay, that the Mishnah says, Dvarav Kayamim, and the Then the Rambam adds, the Yirayali, I think, should say, Lachzor le Kadesh, Ota Meavia, Acharshati Vale. They have to remarry her. Kadesh, you can't say, Kadushin, Shaim Behem Dofi. So they should have Kadushin that has no Dofi, that has no, some kind of detraction, some kind of problem. So here the Rambam seems to say, Mikudesh. It's very interesting. The Kahati says, some don't have the Girsa of this whole thing. They don't, they don't, they don't have this, this whole, Girsa at all. This whole second thing, this whole second part. They don't see it at all. <coughs> and say, it's not Mikudesh at all because of this ironclad rule of Ein Adam Machne Dabar Shalom Ba'ale Olam. Okay, it's a Mishnah class. If you want to learn it in the Gemara, the Gemara talks about it in greater detail. Right now, we'll stop here and dedicate our learning to the memory of my father, Harav, Simcha Be'Yitzchak Kalman. Have a great day.